But today I am at the South Rand YMCA because we are doing the COVID-19 miler. It's a free fun run that the YMCA is putting on. We've got a lot of great friends that are running this. Dave from the Ultra Running Company is here. So that was super cool to see him. And uh, it's gonna be a good event. So we're about to start. Today's run is set up in three legs. I think the first one's like 4.8 miles, the second one's like 4.8 miles, and then there's a 9.8 mile that runs us back into Kannapolis. I'm hard. <laughs> I haven't done like, I haven't done a run in weeks. Well, the run has started. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be a good one. As always, just gonna try to stay positive and Enjoy the day. Climb the first hill. The group naturally separated a little distance. Got four guys in front, me in no man's land, and then the rest of the pack on the back. Probably the smart move is to not let that hill go after you, but you know, attack the hill. We've got a cyclist helping us. He's the support today on the course. Well, I was able to catch up with a good friend. This is Bernard Waugh. Bernard and Kristen have been running with me for years and they're really good people. They're part of the, the crazies, the group of crazy runners. They make me look crazy, so we're well, out. No, Aaron doesn't need any help looking crazy. <laughs> oh, so true, so true. A few miles in, having good conversation. Still feeling good and uh, of course it's a little warmer than most people would want. Probably be dumping my shirt here shortly. We'll just keep running. Well, lap one. Is there water? Yeah. <laughs> There's the other wall. Oh, I'm just gonna walk it out. So. Okay. There we go. Hey. Okay. Well, officially started the second lap. Currently like 42 in and feeling good. Yeah. Let's just keep trucking back up this hill. Bobby suggested we hitch a ride on the train and ride it to the ballpark where this ends. I would say that that's legal. Okay, so we're uh, a few miles in, I think seven. I am, uh, I am struggling, but man, these guys setting a good pace. We decided to be the Shirts Off Club. It was a pro move by Bobby to set that standard. So we're going to keep running and enjoy the day. Almost halfway done, but now we're getting on the road that I was not looking forward to. Is this Flat Rock? Which you would think, because of the name, it would be flat. Wrong. <laughs> Bobby pointed out that that's the Flat Rock. Man, it's just some gradual rollers. Uh, 933 average, ecstatic. I put that I would average 10, 10 minute miles. These gentlemen have not allowed me to do that, so I'm not mad about that. But definitely feeling it in the legs. Yeah, we're on flat rock. Picked up another runner. He's definitely helping us keep the pace. Well, I finally made it off of Ain't Flat at Rock Road. <sighs> Currently this moment, this is the most miles that I've ran in multiple months. And it is very hot. So up there is Bernard and Bobby. I've had to walk a few times just because the heat is, oh my gosh, so draining. We were running with the wind on Flat Rock. So there's no movement, so it was just overheating. About a quarter of a mile to the aid station. Oh, oh you're going to go, go around that way. Go around that way. You're moving quite a bit faster than I am. Uh, 18. Yeah, I see. I got it. I'm just going to get water. Well, beginning the third leg, I am 10.4 miles in. 
my god it is so freaking hot got a bottle of water and uh i'm gonna walk this hill actually i'm gonna walk just a little bit longer body is surprisingly doing well work has been crazy so i've not gotten a lot of runs occasional runs uh so i haven't been running a lot uh had a back injury had the leg injury just not ideal but i figured i'd get out and run and just have fun i mean you know if i have to walk the rest in if i have to walk 10 miles i can do that but that is not the ideal plan so let's get back to moving look what i found on the day's run Twelve point five in, feeling good. Just keeping a pace, running against the wind. So that's always joyful, cause uh, keeping me cooler on this eighty degree October day. My God. Hit kind of a rhythm in 14, so it's always fun to feel these new tempos and rhythms and do these long runs. So got a little over five to go. Feeling good. Dave is right back there from the Ultra Running Company. Their longest run ever. Oh, fantastic, boys. That's right, the young guns looking good, man. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna turn it down. Oh my gosh, yes. This is why the running community is amazing. They were handing out water. Oh, thanks so much to that crew. Well, we have Dave and Kay in front of me. Dave from the Ultra Running Company. One of the funnest guys you'll ever run with. And then Kay is running with him. It was definitely a joy for them to catch me. Oh, so, Dave and Kay, thanks for the positive vibes. Oh, made it onto the Kannapolis Greenway. Three and a half miles to go. My God, it is so stinking hot. I think I am the official last person on the course and it feels good. Well, 17.5 in and I took a wrong turn. So, I am now backtracking. Like it's gonna add about an extra mile. This is important because the reality is I could cut it short, but by cutting it short, it only affects me. There's nobody else out here. I'm the last person on the course. It does not matter to anybody else if I do the course properly. But if I cheat the course, I only cheat me, so I'm not a cheater. So even if it's cheating myself, so I'll add another mile to my uh, route and do it the right way. Okay, after further investigation, so I was running on this side of the road and I think everybody else was running on the other side so the sign that told us to turn was on this side and I saw a white sign on this side oh I am bonking so bad my god it is so hot well over there is where I'm ending but I just crossed 19 miles so I guess that's what happens when you go the wrong way when I get to this point I have to remind myself that I'll be happy with the results I get from the effort that I put in giving it my everything at this moment is running a little faster than 11 minute mile you know I have no water I have no food I just got to be happy with what I can do right now like when I cross the line I'll be happy and it's not a pace to write home about but she's cold turkey 19 miler just on straight mental strength no physical preparation 
I'll take that any day of the week. I am done officially. Uh, I have been resting. I did not record because I was bonking so bad, but um, I've officially finished. Yeah, now I have to walk home because I only live like two miles away. So yeah, we'll have fun. It was a good time. Thanks to Dusty and this team that put on the run. It was a lot of fun. <sighs> and it was good to get another 19 under my belt, kind of mentally get back to where I need to be. So, till later, adios.